Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore two different kinds of formulas. One which will help that will help us find the area of any triangle, and another that will help us find the area of a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. The first formula is called Hero's Formula. Wouldn't it be helpful to find the area of any triangle without having to find the height or the altitude of the triangle? I know we know how to do that with an equilateral triangle, but not every triangle is equilateral. Well, this formula, developed 2,000 years ago by Hero of Alexandria, is called Hero's Formula. And given any triangle, ABC with sides A, B, and C. We can calculate the area by taking the square root of the semi perimeter times the semi perimeter minus side A times the semi perimeter minus side B times the semi perimeter minus side C. So the square root of all of that. Well, what is semi-perimeter, first of all? Well, semi-perimeter is the half the perimeter. We've heard of a semicircle. Well, that's half the circle. Well, semi-perimeter is the distance halfway around the triangle, or adding all three sides and multiplying by one half or dividing by two. So the semi-perimeter would just be side A plus side B plus side C, all divided by 2. It's not an average. Keep that in mind. It's not the average, but it's half the perimeter. And we need that value, S, obviously, for Hero's formula. So the area of the triangle, the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. That's all square rooted. So if we wanted to find the area of triangle with sides 3, 6, and 7, then it doesn't really matter too, too much where the 3, the 6, and the 7 are. Well, first we need to do is calculate the semi-perimeter. So 3 plus 6 plus 7 all over 2 equals 16 over 2 which is 8. So our semi-perimeter is 8, and then substituting that into Hero's formula, substituting that into Hero's formula, our area is equal to the square root of 8 times 8 minus the length of side A, or 7, times 8 minus the length of side B, 3, times the length of, times the semi-perimeter, minus the length of side C, or 6. So our area equals the square root of 8 times 1, times 5, times 2. So our area, if we want, since this is all multiplication, we could break this apart. Um, or we can multiply it together. That's the square root of 80. And 80 is equal to 16 times 5. So our area is equal to 4 square root of 5 units squared. Didn't have to worry about finding the height or an altitude. Didn't have to use a 30, 60, 90 or 45, 45, 90 or our trig. So we just used Hero's formula. Next is Brahmagupta's formula. In about 600 AD, Hindu mathematician Brahmagupta recorded this formula for the area of a quadrilateral that can be inscribed in a circle. So this is a pretty specific formula. 
Okay, this isn't just old any any old quadrilateral. It's got to be able to be inscribed inside of a circle. So if you remember, an inscribed quadrilateral, the angles must be the opposite angles must be supplementary. So for a quadrilateral quadrilateral to be inscribed in a circle, the opposite angles are supplements. That doesn't happen all the time. Um, so you got to be careful. So let's take a look at Brahmagupta's formula. There obviously must be some similarities between this and Hero's formula. And there are. Brahmagupta's formula also uses the concept of semi-perimeter, where semi-perimeter is the addition of all the lengths of all four sides divided by two. Again, not an average. So side A plus side B plus side C plus side D all divided by two is our semi-perimeter. And our formula for the area of a cyclic quadrilateral is the square root of the semi-perimeter minus side A times the semi-perimeter minus side B times the semi-perimeter minus side C times the semi-perimeter minus side D. So a little bit different. There's no extra semi-perimeter in there. It's just the semi-perimeter minus each of the four sides and then the square root of all of that. So let's take a look at another sample problem. Let's find the area of an inscribed quadrilateral with sides 2, 7, 6, and 9. And it doesn't really matter which ones are A, B, C, and D. So let's go ahead and calculate our semi-perimeter. Is 2 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9. 15 and 9 is... 24 over 2 is 12. So our semi-perimeter is 12. So now we want to take the square root of the quantity 12 minus 2 times 12 minus 7 times 12 minus 6 times 12 minus 9, which equals the square root of 10 times 5 times 6 times 3. So this looks like it could be a little bit more challenging. I might do my separate square roots here. Uh, the square root of 10 would be the square root of 2 times the square root of 5, and then we have another square root of 5, and then we have a square root of 2 times the square root of 3, that's our square root of 6, and then our 3 at the end, we have another square root of 3. So the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3, so we have 5 times 3 which is 15, and now we still have some things left under the square root. I have the square root of 4 left over. So 5 times 3 times the square root of 4 is 2, so we have 15 times 2 is 30. So our area of our inscribed quadrilateral must be 30 units squared. And that does work out. Double checking my work. I can see here that the square root of 10 times 5 times 6 times 3 is the square root of well, 50 times 6. Well, this is going to be easier. 5 times 6 is 30 times 3 is 90 times 10 is 900. 900 is a perfect square, so we get 30 units squared again. But you might find it easier to break your factors into its square roots and 
do some square root analysis as opposed to making the number really big and then trying to find the square root of it, you're going to have to refactor anyway. So sometimes it's easier to work with our radicand already factored. So that's what you want to may want to do, and that's going to be my helpful hint of the day. So you'll get more practice with this when we study this more when I see you in class.